Hi everyone, it's Anna and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're actually going to do something a little bit different. Um, I just wanted to do a June check-in. Um, so you can kind of get to know me, see what I'm up to right now in terms of like my New Year's resolutions, my natural journey, just things that I'm, I'm doing right now. Um, and I thought June was a good time to do it because I'm six months in. Um, obviously, when you start a New Year's resolution, you can start any time, but I chose to start uh, from January. One of the main goals that I had for 2014 was to really start switching to natural. Uh, hence, kind of the videos. Like, I'm a little bit more accountable. I have somebody to kind of post it to and, and check in with this uh, journey that I'm on. It's been great. I actually have found that I have stopped shopping a lot. It was also one of my New Year's resolutions was to save money and not be such an impulsive shopper. And I have started to realize that with uh, switching to natural products, uh, because it's not so readily available in your average drugstore, you, you can't just go into Target and just pick up something, you really start to realize that you got to look at the ingredients, you got to do your research. And because a lot of it is more available online, you're less likely to just, you know, go out and just buy things. You know, think about shipping. I don't want to necessarily, you know, pay $150 in merchandise if I'm not going to use it uh, just to get the free shipping. And so I've done pretty well with that. But in line with that shopping, um, I have placed a couple orders. So. I'll have a Kiki Naturals video coming soon, as well as a 100% pure order, which is going to be my very first. So I'm super excited to do an upcoming video for that. Um, and then they'll be coordinating blog posts um, with uh, close-up photos about those purchases. So, yeah, shopping, it's kind of um, nice just not having to always constantly shop, I feel like it becomes a habit. You go into a store and you, you just buy it without really thinking about it. And then six months later, you realize, you know, why why the heck did I spend the money on this when I never reached for it, especially in beauty products. There's a lot of like, YouTube made me buy it. I've been there. We've all been there. And I've gotten a lot of things uh, where I ended up tossing in the past year because I've realized that I didn't really want it. It didn't suit me. Uh, but the hype and the reviews and, and YouTube just makes it so appealing when you watch those beauty bloggers that, um, you know, it just, it didn't, it wasn't for me. And I don't want to buy things for the sake of reviewing them on YouTube either. So you're going to find that when I do hauls, um, a lot of it's for practicality reasons nowadays. I'm starting to buy a lot more of just the necessities, but buying high quality products instead of buying, you know, five different lotions, I'm buying two that I really like and that I know I will use. I can't even imagine how one person could use all of that product with just one face. So it, it boggles me to just have so many options. It's nice to have options, but you don't need 50 different blushes. Um, at least I find I don't uh, because you really need to pack it on to use up all of that. And I feel like with beauty bloggers, when they have they, when they have a whole room dedicated to beauty products and drawers and drawers full, and they you know, there's nothing in this collection that's uh, you know that's ex expired or it won't expire because I use all of it. You would have to wear so much makeup each day in order to use up any of that. And makeup does expire, especially natural makeup because it doesn't have all the chemical preservatives. It's got natural preservatives, so. I want to make sure that I am using those things up. That's where I am with uh, the shopping part of it and the natural journey part of it, that I am doing my research, I am learning a lot more. I do I have a blog post on making your own toner. It's a green tea uh, toner, uh, which I've been using for over a year now, and it's really helped my acne prone skin. Uh, you can see the recipe in the blog post photos uh, at empiredays.com. And then I also have a blog post on making your own hand sanitizer. Um, so that's exciting. Finally got that up. Um, it was requested. And I also wanted to talk about uh, my posting schedule. I don't really have one. I work a full-time office job. Not that that's super exhausting, but mentally it can be sometimes and I just come home and I don't feel like filming. 
Um, but now that it's kind of brighter out, I can work with the natural light. Um, and if you notice, it's kind of like a newer background. I'm in the bedroom right now just because the lighting's a lot better than it is um, in the craft room where my vanity is. So with that, uh, because I tend to blog a lot more, I want to start making more quality videos. I edit and just make it look nicer for you. And I want to get on a more regular posting schedule. Uh, maybe like twice a week I do a blog post and then once a week at least I put up a video. So it's a lot more regular. To get back into the makeup, I actually have a small amount of lipsticks that I want to use up. If you watch Pink So Foxy's uh, videos, she does a great series where she starts decluttering her vanity and goes through all of her makeup and gets rid of things she doesn't use anymore and she does kind of a check-in. So I feel inspired to do that with my lipsticks because I feel like out of a lot of the makeup products, lipsticks for me is a hard one to use up. I am being more conscious of, you know, making sure I have lipstick on. It's a nice feeling, but I do have quite a few lipsticks that I want to use up. And this is not even including the ones that I like tossed or gave away. I'll show you kind of what I've got to work with. Um, and then, you know what, I think I'll do a check-in um, in December. How's that? Uh, at the end of the year to show you what I've used up, what I've replaced with it. Maybe finding uh, an all-natural dupe or a color close to it for it. Um, okay, so starting with, uh, this is Bare Minerals Moxie. I got it in an Ipsy bag. Um, so it's this nice kind of mauve pink, which is the color that I tend to go for, and I normally don't like sample lipsticks that people give out just because the colors never suit my skin tone, but this actually worked out pretty well because uh, I love the color. I'm not sure about the Bare Minerals formula. It was a little drying, but I like the color enough to keep it. Um, I absolutely love this color. This is Clinique's Tender Heart, and as you can see, I've used up quite a bit already, but I have another tube of this like beautiful like nudie brown but not so brown that it makes you look kind of just off color uh, it just it goes well with my skin tone I have a two-tone lip color so uh, it kind of just unifies my lips so it doesn't look like I'm always wearing like that 90s lip eyeliner look which nobody liked um, and then I also have another nude pink uh, this is uh, Rimmel's Moisture Renew Piccadilly Pink I love this color. Um, I'm really glad this color worked out because I purely bought this because of the name because we were in Piccadilly when we were in London. So got to use that up. I got NARS in Dulce Vita. This is actually I think one of the more popular colors and I had this for a while. I bought this for my wedding. It's coming off more pink but it's actually more of like a nude nude beige brown color not beige more brown brown red um, and I absolutely love this you'll find that I like a lot of neutrals because I work in a corporate office so I can't go wild with my colors I don't tend to uh, lean towards bright colors anyway so I guess if you like bright looks this isn't the place for it <laughs> um, I have a Too Faced um, Cinnamon Kiss this is a really nice deep red with a touch of kind of a brown in it. Neutral color. I love Too Faced Formula lipsticks. They're so smooth, so moisturizing. It's going to be hard to find something that will match the quality of Too Faced. This is one that I actually wore for my wedding. So this is kind of a sentimental lipstick, if you will, um, in Bumbleberry. No, actually... You'd think I'd know this because I got married in that lipstick. Cinnamon Kiss is the one that I got married in. <laughs> yes. This is Bumbleberry, and I bought this purely for its name. And I'm glad the color worked out. This is more, much more of a red, red berry color. Very beautiful, very moisturizing, beautiful formula. Love it. Love the packaging. Very chic. I have Poppy King. This was actually a limited edition um, for J. Crew. This is just like this beautiful bright orange red. Love the color. A little drying, but I love the color. I've got a while to use this one up. I'm starting to kind of experiment and just wear bright bold lips in during the day, just for the heck of it. Finally, I've got Mac Luster lipstick in C Sheer. I think this is a pretty popular one. 
and this one is a nice kind of they're all coming off in this camera as like the same shade but I swear they're not like a nice like bright pink kind of color um, and I've been wearing this at the office pretty much every day so how many lipsticks is that? That is eight lipsticks I've got a while but I will check in in December on where I am with those and hopefully find um, some natural alternatives. Then I wanted to kind of check in with like my summer reading list. I used to buy a lot of books to spend tons of money on it but I've decided that I don't need to collect everything and I you know there's a lot of books where you read them and you don't reread them ever again so why collect them? Um, my goal is to live in a tiny house and so I don't want to have so many things around me. I want to simplify my life. And so I've been going to the library. I love supporting the library. I've been going since I can even remember. Got my first library card when I was like four or five. Okay, I'm exaggerating. I think it was like seven. But anyway, I'm currently reading right now Splintered by A.G. Howard. It's about her great, 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 great granddaughter and um, how she needs to break the curse of the family in order for the insanity uh, that runs in the female line of her family to stop. And so she needs to find Wonderland and break the curse. It's a very dark uh, version of the story, so if you like uh, reimagined versions of Alice in Wonderland, if you're a fan of Alice in Wonderland, I highly recommend this book. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is it's written in uh, present tense and I'm used to reading in past tense so that's a little different and getting used to but um quite enjoying this. I just started Austin Land. Okay. Shannon Hale. Um, I saw the movie. Absolutely loved it. I found it very charming. I love Jane Austen. Uh, she's one of my favorite authors. Probably my absolute favorite author seen all the different versions of TV, movie, and, and adaptations. I've read all the books. So if you're a big fan of Jane Austen, I highly recommend this. Very charming, um, great start, easy to read. It's not even a thick book, so I mean you could get through this in, you know, in no time. I had a friend um, who recommended this one to me. Uh, it's called Crazy Rich As Asians by Kevin Kwan. This is a big one. This is quite a big book. Um, so I'm just about to start this and as you can tell I've got three books going I have a tendency to read several at a time um, I think for a lot of book lovers that's just habit we just do that she said that not to be offensive or anything but she said that if you're Asian this is quite a hilarious book because there's a lot of Asian isms in it I'm looking forward to that I, I quite like humorous modern fictional books like that um, because I Aside from historicals and historical fiction, nonfiction, historical romances, I don't read too many modern books and so uh, this is kind of like a nice uh, break from all of that history. I think that's it. I will do these check-ins maybe, I don't know, every month, every other month or something, but for sure I will check in with the lipstick and the simplifying journey in December at the end of the year to kind of give you an overview of how my journey went, um, how my... New Year's resolutions worked out. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye.